We are looking at a humerus. The humerus is a long bone found in the brachial region, your upper arm. We know that this is the humerus because it has a rounded head on one end, a lot like the femur, but the femur is way bigger. Its neck, this one of the humerus, the neck is short. For the femur, the neck is longer. So here's the head, and then we've got some protrusions and fossas on this side. The head, that's the proximal end. On this side, we've got epicondyles and condyles here. This region where the condyl is, this is called the, um, the trochlea. It looks like a pizza cutter. And then this is the capitulum. It's this rounded head. Cap means head. So capitulum is the rounder one. Trochlea, which means pulley, is... It is round, but it's more like it's sharper. It's like a pizza cutter. So trochlea, capitulum, this is the condyl. Here are the epicondyls. The medial epicondyl points out more. And we know that this side's medial because here where the head is, the head is medial because that fits in to the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So once again, we've got proximal, medial, medial, distal. Now we have to figure out anterior from posterior. On the proximal side, you can see that we've got two bumps here. This is the lesser tubercle. This is the greater tubercle. We don't have those bumps over here. Lesser tubercle points anteriorly. So this is the anterior side. What's also on the anterior side, or sorry, excuse me, what's on the posterior side is this fossa. This is the olecranal fossa. The ulna fits into this when you're bending your elbow. So posterior, anterior, medial, and therefore lateral, proximal, distal. This is the left, I'm pretty sure I said it right this time, the left humerus. This is the left humerus. The one on the right, good focus, come on. Okay, sorry. Stupid camera. Uh, all right, anyways, the right humerus, you can see the lesser tubercle, greater tubercle, head is pointing medially. The head fits into the glenoid fossa of the scapula. And down here, you can see you can see the trochlea, trochlea, capitulum, and then in the back, you can see the olecranal, olecranal fossa for the ulna, the olecranal process of the ulna to fit into. That is the humerus.